To create classic, elegant style in a kitchen or bathroom, decorators typically use traditional materials such as wood and marble. Curved cabinets can heighten that effect, but their unique style comes at a higher price because, for the most part, these elegant doors must be custom ordered and handmade. Most cabinet doors produced by this factory are custom made. They typically start out as a sketch, which the factory transforms into a technical drawing. They then use that drawing to program the automated woodworking machines. After cutting all the pieces of wood they'll need, they run each one through a planer. It simultaneously smooths both the top and bottom surfaces. A cabinet door consists of a center panel surrounded by a frame. This machine, called a molder, carves the frame's two vertical pieces and cuts a groove on one edge into which the center panel will fit. To construct that center panel, a worker feeds planks through a wood shaper that bevels their edges. The angle of the bevel is such that, when the pieces line up side by side, they'll form a curve. After trimming the pieces to the length of the center panel, another worker runs them through a glue applicator, which coats the beveled edges in adhesive. Then she lines up the pieces in an assembly fixture that's been adjusted to the center panel's width and radius. Once everything's positioned, she applies clamps, which force the pieces tightly together. The glue sets in 20 minutes. Once the glue cures to full strength, the piece goes onto a computer-guided router. It rounds both sides of the panel for a smooth, seamless look. This particular door has a concave curve. Others can have a convex curve or a crossbow curve, which is S-shaped. The same router now automatically switches to a different type of tool and profiles the panel's edges. It also carves a tongue that fits into the groove in the frame pieces. The same machine can then load another tool to engrave a custom motif or monogram if the customer desires. Next, a computer-guided sander smooths out the panel, preparing the wood for stain or paint later on. Making the frame's horizontal pieces is more complex than making the vertical ones because the top and bottom have to curve just like the center panel. Workers coat thin slices of wood with heat-activated glue, then stack them over a curved form in a press. The press squeezes the slices tightly together. Then a high-frequency electrical current generates intense heat, triggering the adhesive. The bonded slices exit the press, looking like a solid, curved piece of wood. Once the glue has set, a computer-guided router carves it to the same decorative style as the vertical pieces. It also miters the corners, so the horizontal and vertical frame pieces will fit together seamlessly. All that's left to do is glue the frame to the panel. The tongue running along the panel's perimeter fits neatly into the groove of each frame piece. Workers now clamp everything together and let the glue set for half an hour. Then the cabinet door goes off for painting or staining. This factory produces curved cabinets in 10 different types of wood and dozens of colors and finishes, opening the door to endless design possibilities.
If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitismade.net.